Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Shopify store with Google Analytics so that you can start tracking data, visitors, activities and stuff so that you can take decisions based on data driven or based on the metrics that you're going to see on the Google Analytics. So without further ado, let me take you to my analytics page here. And after that, I am here on account creation process. So let's start the process by providing the account name so in the account i could have an organization and under that account i could have multiple business which are also known as properties so i'm going to write something here for example let's say worky as my account details or account name you can put whatever you want and in regard of account data sharing settings i'd love to go with the settings these are already been selected by default and then i'm going to click on next after that, here is the place where we have to provide our property details. So I'm going to provide my property information. So since I'm creating this um, Google Analytics property or account for the Tickware website, so I'm going to put Tickware here, Tickware online store, and then reporting time zone. So I'm from, uh, I'm currently residing in the United Kingdom. So I'm going to type out here, United Kingdom. So depending on your location, you have to provide the information and the currency, I'm going to put um, the GBP or the Great Britain British pound, right? And after that, I'm going to click on next. After that, we have to provide a bit of information about our business. For example, if I want to select the business category, so I'm going to click on select one and mine is basically about um, watches. So it's, it's going to go with jewelry and watches if uh, the options available here so let me see jewelry and watches books autos business industrial okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply go with other business activity that actually doesn't matter that much and after that i'm going to select on small one to ten employees and after that i'm going to click on next and then we're going to be landed to the business objective selection page so i'm going to generate leads i'm going to drive sales these are this is my main objective here but we can select um as many as you as we want so understand web app or app traffic yep obviously i'm going to track the data and see which visitors are purchasing and which visitors are coming and from which location which device based people are uh, what kind of activities they are doing through this analytics right so i'm going to click on this as well select all of them like the first four and then i'm going to click on create and after that uh, we're going to receive this google analytics terms and service agreement to read so if you have uh, if you want you can simply read the full details so i'm going to click on i also accepted the data processing terms as required by jdpr and then i'm going to click on i accept all right so now the fun part is data collection method so since we are going to work on our website on shopify so i'm going to select on web but if you have got an app then obviously depending on the device type so android or ios right so i'm going to go with web and after that, I'm going to put my website address, which is www.tiqwear.com. And after that, my website name is going to be tickware. All right, let's keep it as it is. And then enhanced measurement. So I'm going to keep it enabled so that we're going to see the uh, page view, scrolls, outbound clicks, and video engagement file downloads from interaction data automatically. So I'm going to click on create and continue. And here we go. This is my data. So automatically this page is going to be coming up. So basically you can connect uh, the data by using um, the manual code or uh, we can put a tag on our website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to our Shopify backend. And after that, I'm going to take you to settings page. We're going to use an app to do the connection so i'm going to take you here and after that from the settings page we're going to go under this apps and sales channels option and after that i'm going to click on shopify app store and then we're going to type out google and youtube and let's see what comes up here we go this is the app that we are looking for so google and youtube so you click here and you can read the reviews and stuff as you can see here 4000 plus reviews and the developer is google llc so it's a trusted uh, extension so i'm going to click on install
and then I'm going to click on install from here. And after that, I'm going to click on connect Google account. So I'm going to click here. And this is my Gmail account, which I have connected with my Google Analytics page as well. So I'm going to click here on this Gmail account. After that, I'm going to click on continue. Let's select all and continue. After that, get started with Google and YouTube. As you can see here, we have connected our Google account. And after that, since we want to connect our Google Analytics only, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you here on this part. Let's click here and then you can see looking only to set up Google Analytics for, for your store. So I want this option. So I'm going to click on get started. And after that, you can see that connect your Google Analytics property. This option appeared. So as you can see here, this is the property that I have just created, which is selected. So now I'm going to click on connect. So a few minutes earlier, we created our Google Analytics account and then we created a property and which is appearing right here, right? So we now we have to select the property and then we're going to click on connect from here. And then let's keep it as it is. Repeat, receive updates from Google and YouTube. No, I don't want to receive this update. So I'm going to click on confirm and let's click on complete setup. All right, so here we go. Google Analytics is active and now we can start tracking the data. So if I click here on view performance in Google Analytics, let me click and I'm going to visit the website from here, TQR, and let's go to smartwatch. I'm going to visit this page. Let's do some activities and let's remove them. Continue shopping. Go here. Let's add to cart. Just doing this for some activities so that we can see if the data is being tracked. Here we go. Let's go back here. Uh, here we go. Your data collection is active. And as you can see here, I'm visiting this website from United Kingdom. You can see that. Though we're not seeing uh, the data appearing here, it's going to be appeared soon. So if I click here on view real time, we can see the data like how many viewers, which pages we have visited. We have visited a uh, checkout page. We have visited lot skin and etc. etc. Right. So this is it. Our Shopify store is now connected with our Google Analytics account. And now we'll be able to see the activities of users and based on the behaviors activities we can take decisions so this was it for this tutorial i believe you have found this video helpful if you have got any question at all or any concern please feel free to let me know by commenting below i have to see you in my next video thank you so much have a good one